Hello everyone, my name is Andrea and I am a meteorologist with the National Weather Service office in Grand Forks, North Dakota, here to bring you another edition of A Look Back. For this series, we are trying once a month to examine one historical weather event from eastern North Dakota or the northwest quarter of Minnesota. Last month's event was the Prairie Fires of May 1887. We've also featured the record fall, winter, spring, and flood of 1896 and 97. These links can be found on our office YouTube page, and this month features the first tornado photograph in North Dakota. Back in the late 1800s, not much was known about tornadoes. They were called many different things, including strong winds, cyclones, or even hurricanes. There's also a misconception that tornadoes didn't occur in portions of the northern plains. Then, in the 1880s, a series of strong tornadoes struck Minnesota, which garnered national attention. The main reason for the added attention was that photographs and hand-drawn copies of photographs were being published nationwide. The first tornado struck New Ulm, Minnesota on July 15, 1881. As an example, what draws you in more? The headline on the left or the picture on the right? It's usually the picture. This picture is taken from a national publication, which is a hand-drawn copy of an actual photograph. Like they say, pictures are worth a thousand words. They can really help people relate quickly and easily. So here are a few actual pictures from the New Ulm tornado damage, and here we can see collapsed roofs and debris scattered across the area. A few more pictures here showing some knockdown structures and even roofs that were torn off buildings. The second tornado struck Rochester, Minnesota on August 21st, 1883. And here we can see a picture of nails or pieces of straw that were driven into pieces of wood during the tornado. And here we can see a couple more pictures from the tornado in Rochester, where rail cars were tossed aside and trees were sheared due to strong winds. The third tornado struck the St. Cloud and Sauk Rapids, Minnesota area on April 14, 1886. So here are some more pictures that we see from the tornado damage, in which structures were completely knocked down. Another picture from the Sauk Rapids tornado, and here's another case where we can see where the winds were so strong that debris was flown straight into trees. So it was relatively easy to photograph tornado damage, but it was a totally different story to capture a tornado actually on film. But in 1884, this tornado was photographed near Howard, South Dakota. This was the first tornado captured on film in South Dakota. The first tornado captured on film in North Dakota was on June 6, 1887 at Jamestown. It is not really an impressive looking tornado, but it re also received national attention. In this event, the Jamestown newspaper said that everyone rushed out into the streets to watch the tornado, which actually occurred north of town. One national magazine reported that the tornado was so strong that it sucked up a small lake, but this was likely exaggerated to some degree. Now today, just about everyone carries a cell phone with them at all times, and these of course come with a built-in camera, and that makes capturing storm pictures much easier nowadays. So how can you report storms or damage for eastern Dakota or the northwest portion of Minnesota? One way is to call the Grand Forks National Weather Service office at 1-800-667-1218. A second way is through this link, which will direct you to five other methods, including Facebook, Twitter, and email. So could there be more severe weather today than there were in the late 1800s? An easier explanation is that there are more people around today, and most of them carry cameras. Satellites and radars provide a lot of information, but we still depend on you for what is actually going on out there. And we always appreciate any reports that can be provided. So that concludes this edition of A Look Back. Thanks for listening.